Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Goldsmith Gaming with me, Christopher, and this is Bendy and the Dark Revival, a game that I got to know about because it was um, nominated, I think, for games that had a very interesting visual style, or art style maybe I should say, which is something I very, very much enjoy. I do like when games you know, go uh, go out of the ordinary and produce something that's looking very, very cool. And it, it can be very different. Some games, um, some games can be very normal but still looking good. For example, this was uh, mentioned in the same, uh, I think it was a Twitter post, um, in, in the same Twitter post as Kina Bridge of Spirits, which obviously maybe doesn't have a very super unique art style, but it has a very, very good looking art style. Anyway, there we go, Ben the Other Dark Revival. There is actually at least one more game, uh, I think it's called Bendy and the Ink Machine or something or another. Did not know that that existed, but uh, that might be something I could check out too. However, we're gonna be looking at Bendy and the Dark Revival, and it is a bit of a puzzle horror sort of a thing. I've only played like the tutorial in the very beginning of the game, which we are gonna do now as well. and. Um, while it is creepy, it's not so much horror, but we can absolutely see something in the background here that's very, very horror-y. So, alright then. We will uh, we will have a bit of a look, we'll start off a new game and uh, see what's up with this one. We're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. But when you step back, when you really look at where you've been and the things you've done, your past will come to devour you. There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. And Time we are in. A little adventure. So indeed, an adventure apparently, uh, Audrey thinks to herself, wanting to get a coffee. Yes indeed, Employee of the Month Award, that's us, we're Audrey. And that is Bendy, the character that's uh, the name of the game, so to speak. So we're basically working as an artist for this um, like animation show, very... Is that like 30s, 40s styled? Yes, we are in the 70s though, so it's not like... Well, actually, did we have this style in the 70s as well? I don't think so. Well, probably a little bit. So there's Bendy, probably Bendy's girlfriend and Bendy's uh, trusty wolf... Uh, not wolf... Uh, dog companion. So you're basically Mickey Mouse, but just a little bit weird. And you're a, you're a devil. So that's lovely. And we are in the studio. And we are gonna get ourselves some coffee. We are in Archgate Pictures. And Arch is the character, I think, that created Bendy. I'm not entirely... Ooh, hello. Oh, well, I did not notice this. It's a very, very, very clean mirror. Like, that's obscenely clean. It's almost like it's not a mirror at all. But that's me looking around. Lovely. Uh, yeah, I think that um, some character named Arch something. We're gonna look at him over there. Um, he indeed created Bendy in the beginning, and we're sort of just continuing the thing. And, uh, well, thirsty cold drinks. Uh, we don't really have much to do here, I don't believe. We have our regular typewriters, our regular s screen boards thing. I, I don't... animation board, maybe that's, that, that's called. I don't know, I'm not an animator. Uh, so yeah, just... Uh, <clears throat> Walk through here, and everything is getting a bit, a uh, bit spooky already. But I mean, it's just, uh, it's just a bad weather. Although that's, uh, that's flickering obscenely fast. Yes. 
All right then, so here we go. That's the guy, Nathan Arch. He looks like uh, he's he looks like he he is in typing. Yes, very much so. And uh, all right then, continuing on, we have a very conveniently placed uh, desk here, limiting us from going into that area where the red light is. Why is there a red light there? No one knows. But uh, let's go over here. More animation boards, etc. We have. A chain jump sort of a thing is that connected to her she has like oven gloves on that's weird <laughs> oh hello there's just some uh, lightning it's all good we're all good uncle Sal's pizzeria okay so we have some stuff lying around here arch gate studios yes indeed let's continue onwards Hi. oh come they on Good thing I brought my own key today. Well, good thing you brought the key, but you also didn't bring bring it, so to speak. So, all right, fine. Back to the office we go. No run button, but all right. <clears throat> yes. Hello. Who put this here? That is a very good question. Where the hell did this come from? We were just here, and there's absolutely no one else here. Oh bloody hell! All right then, fine. Probably nothing's bad. Nothing bad's gonna happen. While we make our way back, there's the key. Pick up <sighs> key. Here's the key. Lovely. By the way, what does that say? Can I... I can't zoom in either as far as I'm aware, but that's a bit of a storyboard, yes. And now the, the thing is gone. So we basically just turn around and it's gone. So, yeah, lovely. Lamp is still freaking out quite heavily. Uh, lamp is still red over there. All right, then. well... We seem to be fine. We we are still alive. That's always a plus in games like these. So let's use the key. Get out of here. Not and the most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. I do like that she doesn't even comment on the uh, mop and the cart just rolled into view. Well, no. I would I would argue that no. This is absolutely not that welcoming, is it? No. All right, then. We'll have a side Hello? room. Yeah. Is someone there? Oh, crap. <laughs> no, I'm actually not that uh, scared about that. We can search uh, these file cabinets. I don't exactly know why we can search them, but we can. Uh, in fact, there's really, again, not much that we can do in here. This seems to be a very rundown little office thing here. Can't go through there. Kind of scared of looking around the corner here, but we seem to be fine. So who the hell moved that thing? No one knows, A. Eh? And indeed, there's really not much else to do over here. So elevator it is. Lovely. We are going down. So push the button. Have a bit of a wait. Again, probably nothing bad is going to happen. This door is a bit open. Can't see anything inside, can't open it. All right then, cool. Get into the elevator, nothing too bad. We are going to first floor apparently. Lovely, push button. All right then. Audrey. Hello. Wilson. Wilson. <sighs> you scared me to death. I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. Mind if I step in? Uh, of course not. Thank you, Audrey. You look like you could use a little company. You are very, very creepy, yes. <coughs> like, obscenely creepy. <laughs> so, it's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful. Gorgeous. And, of course. What was that? Please tell me we're not trapped in here. Don't you worry, my dear. It's just a little short in the system. Happening a lot this past few days. No need to fret. Somehow I think this is Let's not where we want to be. Can find. 
Come along now. Old Wilson will protect you. Well, gee, thanks. But again, I don't think we are on the first floor. Like, at all. Uh, so, alright. Very ominous dark corridor. Only a lot of red light and that's that, that, that's that shot, yes. Alright then, Wilson, what's up? Ah, there we are. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. It will be perfectly safe. All right then. And by the way, yes, I was actually wrong. Never mind. It's Joey Drew. He is the one that, uh, well, drew that thing. Uh, Joey Drew, the man and the demon. So the um, Nathan Arch, probably just the sort of publisher, I suspect. You are in fact the character or person that created this thing. We can actually read a little bit about that. Yoji was the founder of the studio and the man who created Bendy, one of the most beloved cartoon characters of all time. In 1929, with the help of his business partner, Henry Stein, he created Bendy's first short Little Devil Darlin' as an early talkie cartoon. As his entertainment legacy grew over the years, Joey's optimism and pioneering spirit never wavered. Starting with just a pencil and a dream, he created his studio. Here at Archgate Pictures, we strive to continue his dream and see Bendy live on the dreams come true. So I'm gonna now assume that Nathan uh, Arch is just sort of the current president or something like that. Anyway, that's the guy that created everything. Alice Angel. Oh, she's she kind of looks like a devil with the horns, but she also does have the Gloria, so... Alright, or Halo, Halo, I suppose you say it. Uh, Alright then, well that's a lovely picture of him, yes. Just a pencil and a dream. Quite, uh, quite appropriate for anyone who does drawings, yes. We have Silivision. Silivision is a cartoon format developed by Joey Drew that allowed for animated cartoons to be completed more efficiently by streamlining the pencil and inking stages and allowing for last minute adjustments to be made directly on the film stock itself. The film was chemically coded to allow for a specially formulated ink to be applied by an artist working on a magnifying table. This allowed for adjustments, action enhancements or even whole new characters to be added after the cartoon had been photographed. Or ph photographed. Yes. Mr. Drew intended for the format to be used someday to create interactive experiences where the cartoons would be custom altered to fit the occasion or audience. Well, that's, uh, that does sound kind of futuristic in some ways. We have some form of really hard to see, but probably some early drawing board thingamajig. The Butcher Gang. Lovely. Uh, Alright then. Ooh, we have a sing-along too. Lovely. Alright then, Wilson, what do we need to do? And by the way, for any animators looking at this, take note, this is how a person should look when they're walking. N not the, like, the posture, but no ice skating whatsoever. He is very firmly in place on the floor. He does not uh, skate around or anything. That is, that is really, really nice animation. All right, then. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Audrey, sweet Audrey, do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. Well, all right then. So we have a mission, our first mission. This is, I guess this is the tutorial puzzle, because obviously it's not that difficult. We need some cog thing. We need a spanner thing. We need... Kind of difficult to tell, but a book thing. We need... That would be ink in an ink bottle. Some music thing. As well as a toy. And, uh, well, here we go. Spanner. Immediately find that one. Feels kind of bad to remove that one, because that might have actually held stuff in place. But alright, then fine. Uh, we have a toy here. But I think that, the, yeah, that, that is just blocked by glass. We don't do that, apparently. Oh, we have, yes, indeed. We have an LP disc. Lovely. So that would be the music. And again, I don't think we can do much with the central displays here. So let's just keep looking around. Here we go. There's the team. That looks very much like a real photograph, by the way. 
and actually not digital, so to speak. Cool. Uh, all right then, what else? What else? A lot of books in here. Any books that I can use? Hello, The Illusion of Living by Joey Drew. Of course, that is what we're gonna have. Lovely. So that's uh, three things. I can already see the next one. That's the ink. Yes, give me the ink. So that means that we are short the toy and the cog, I believe. Hello, what's, what does that say? Little Devil Darling. Yes, that is the first one. Uh, so what do we have? Well, all right. Big old cog thing here. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna pull that out, are we? Well, lovely, I suppose. All right, so where do we find a toy? Ooh, hello, we find a toy over here. This is the guy. Bendy! He's very, very charming, isn't he? Also a little bit creepy, I suppose. I think that should be it, so let's just make our way back to the pedestals. We have, indeed, the book. Just lay that on there. We have the spanner. I don't know exactly know what the spanner is uh, representing here, but alright. Also the cog. Well, okay, I guess that... I mean, it's not a, a film reel. It's just a cog. Again, don't exactly know why that is a thing. We have the plushie, or yeah, that that I can guess. Oh, you sat down really nicely, didn't you? Uh, we have some music, also very relevant, yes. Uh, the sing-along to Bendy, as well as ink and pen. Of course, also very, very relevant, yes. So, I mean, that's also a little bit relevant, yes. These two, not so relevant. These two, very Only relevant. All right, then. Left. Do. What do we do? That switch. All right then, turn on the power, you say, that is this thing, whack that thing. That's the opposite of power. It is done. Hello. Oh, Audrey, the things you've set in motion. What's happening? The ink is calling us, my dear. Can't you hear it? What? Shh. Don't fret. We're going home. Stay back. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention to these last words. Because very soon, you will forget everything. Let go! Come find me, Audrey. Come find me, and I'll show you your purpose. I'll show you the truth. This can't be real. And now, we die. What are you doing? Oh no, no! What's happened to you? And here we are. Now the game starts proper and I have not done anything here. Oh, hello, there's the book. Can I get the book? So everything is now uh, not looking like the real world, is it? It's uh, it's very cell shaded and uh, looking very, very cool. Looking a little bit indeed like a cartoon. All right, so what do we do? 
Well, first of all, this lo these lovely posters. Relax, the man who killed the ink demon Wilson knows your purpose. Relax, he says. I don't feel so relaxed, no. Also, a plushie of the other guy there. We can also search this thing. Oh, hello. We do find stuff here, though. What is that? A tube of some sort. Uh-huh. Would that be a weapon of some sort? I don't exactly know, but right, we have something to read here, a studio memo. Every great story begins in mystery. Although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are, fear only what you may become and banish it away. Your best pal, and that is probably gonna be Wilson. Okay, in the pause menu, you say, I haven't checked this. Okay, here we go, here's me. Uh, I have my Victus, I'm looking very, ooh, I have very light, lit up eyes as well. Uh, so yes, indeed, that is the only thing we really have right now. I, I don't think I have, what, what were the things that I picked up and how do I access them? No idea. Uh, all right, then. And we don't really s rather we see. Let us say. Yeah, we can. Oh, ah, aha, aha. I see. I see. There's a puzzle. Apparently, we needed those two steps in order to be able to ascend this staircase, which is a little bit embarrassing on Audrey's part, as she wouldn't be able to do it without them. But now we can climb the stair here, or a ladder, I should say. Because I'm vaguely thinking that uh, going down there isn't really gonna do much. Welcome home, it says as well. All right, then, another memo here. Uh, geez, do you think I was drowning kiddings the way these people are looking at me? I've never seen such disappointment in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills, then the bank takes the goodies back. Still, it doesn't break me a bit knowing how much I love the old cartoons this place used to make. Oh well, th times change, life moves on. Telly Wester. Alright then, Telly Wester. A music box. First jump scare of the game, possibly. Like, proper jump scare, maybe. Turn it around. Get the tune. Is it gonna be the classic one? No, not a classic one. Oh, it's just one of those boxes. All right, not a jack in the box. All right. Interesting. Do we wait for it to play? Does that reveal something? No, doesn't seem like that revealed anything. All right, then. I do wonder what these lovely flowers... Okay, crouch. Uh-huh. So we have a crouch now. Do we have a run? We don't have a run yet. But we have a crouch. Standard stuff here. I mean, it looks really cool, by the way. Oh, hello. Attention, children of the machine. Okay. This is Wilson, your friend, your protector. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away, tore his body in two. In return, I ask just a little favor. Among you, there is a stranger, a young lady. Bring her to me. Well, that's not good. So, children of the machi machine, and I mean, you put me here. Why did you need someone to bring me to you? Couldn't you just, I don't know. Oh, hello. Ah, okay. So, you've already given me a place to hide. That's less good. <laughs> so, Joey, Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet uh, with us considering the current situation. We've been with you for many years, and we feel we have contributed to the success of Bendy in the past. Our interest is purely in keeping this company strong. We just want to help however we can. Let's talk from Sammy Lawrence. New person. But alright, so that is a place that we can hide. I don't think that there is much else in here we can do, so we kind of need to move on. Children of the Machine. What are Children of the Machine? <laughs> uh no, 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 that's just flickering from that, I think. Okay. 
Does it feel super safe, this? Does it? Oh, we're very, very slow in the ink, yes. Or water. Is it water or ink? It's probably ink. We're very slow through it. Okay. And we're gonna have to run back here. Is that what we're... Is that what we're learning here, possibly? Well, for now, it's just more notes. Oh, that's interesting. A hand. The ink drips. Darkness has spread through this studio. The reaching shadows creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close, so very close. It strains to grab you, choke you from behind. You will feel its breath upon your neck. It is close. Now I kind of want to just back up a bit. <laughs> Because that felt very much like something's going to happen now, isn't it? Alright then, someone wants my flesh. I can search this one. That contains nothing. Oh. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Or, maybe. Maybe, yes. Possibly. Is it yes or is it no? I don't know. But right, I can't see anything immediate here. That's not anything we want. Windows looking at nothing. Uh, all right, does so that just open? Uh, these are searchable ones. Oh, hello. No, apparently I don't want any of that. So there we go, that's something. Gent parts. So that is going to show up in here. Gent parts. Well, we are still very much in like the intro section, so uh, a lot of things might not be... Oh, crap! There's a thing. It's going to back up. Like a lot. Like very far away. Alright then. Well, that's fancy. So what are you then? So you're probably a children in the machine, or a child in the machine, and you are dead. By the looks of it. Okay, so that was going to be hunting us. Or at least one thing that will be hunting us. Well, I'm not looking forward to that. Like, not at all. Oh, hello. Save. Possibly. Uh, maybe. Oh, hey, we actually get some sunlight from those. We need to make our way up here. We can climb on those. But uh, before we do that, listen to this. I just received the call. Joey Drew is dead. What a quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some cramped apartment downtown. You could practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? All right, that was from Nathan Arch. Okay, so he did know Joey. Cool, all right, so no uh, running and hiding just yet. Have some more things in here. That's a hide one. That's a, okay. So the hide ones are the ones with the slits. Yes. Uh, anything I want from here? Do I need to crouch to? No, that didn't do anything. Yeah, I seem I seem to not want a lot of things. So this is one of those games which. Oh, hello. Security override. Uh, yeah, this is one of those games where there are a lot of places where you can search, like open cupboards and stuff, but there's rarely anything you want in them, which is. I don't normally enjoy that. I've had a few games that I've played that have been like that, and it's like, if you're not going to put anything in there, why even have the option to search it? It doesn't really make sense. We found one thing so far, or at least, well, okay, I mean, with regards to the steps to the ladder, yes, two things. Uh, all right, then, security override, pull that one. That should, yes indeed, open that. Left shift to run, you say. I'm just going to hide if, if that's the case. <laughs> If anything wants to come for me, I'm ready. No, nothing. All right, fine. Fine. So now we have a run and we have stamina. Okay. Can I, like, walk super slow then? Not really. So, yeah, we're definitely going to get 
chased at some point. Or another. I'm moving very, very slowly, aren't I? So that's a... It feels like a door, this, but no. Can't uh, open that up. Trying to listen. Hello. Hello. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this bendy, twisty corridor things. Okay, nothing in the ceilings. Search this. Again, just more things. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oof, 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 oof. I heard that. I don't know what I heard, but I heard it. Okay. Is this gonna be a thing? No, no uh, air vents in the high, air, air, air vent hiding right now. Might open up later. So that's very suspicious. That is very suspicious. That is super, super suspicious, actually. <clears throat> all right, then. Uh, all right, then. Let's just run. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, fine. Oh, he's flickering lights still. Chair. For some reason. Uh, so even though that was very suspicious with that thing... Nothing so far. Oh, hello. Alright, heavenly toys. Even a bird. Okay. I mean, it looks super, super cool, by the way. Yes. That is a very large stuffed toy. Um, Alright. More smaller stuffed toys. Oh, yeah, we can search this. Don't seem to want... Oh, there we go. There is something. As the winds are changing around here, I'm asking myself, Sean, what are you doing? There's a whole world out there, places to see, a family to spend my days with. This very job is just a job. I'll have others like it. No worry there. But the important thing is, we should remember to live. I think it's time I did just that. From Sean Flynn, whoever the hell that is. All right, then. Nothing too dramatic I can see here right now. Hello. Oh, that is just a hole in the wall, so to speak. Uh, conveniently placed, that one. Can't get up those stairs. So we are very limited in where we can go, obviously. That is a hide place. Remember that that's there. Level Miracle Station. We can hide in there. Door that doesn't seem to open. Do we, do we search these? No, we do not search those. But yeah, hiding place, good to know. Barrel, no... Open these up. There is a gent battery. Might need that for something as well. Eventually. Okay. I mean, it's a very lovely place. It's also very like... Uh, this is that Art Deco. It's right. that, that, that's Art Deco, I think. Which is a style that I really, really like. It's a very cool style. Okay, we're going up there. That is something for this door. Uh-huh. Do I do that now? I think I do do that now. Do do. Uh, let's pull that. Are ready to... No, okay, that did not work. What do I... No, I don't do anything with that. It appears. All right, then. So we don't go in there just now. Let's uh, keep climbing up. I mean, I'm just uh, holding my breath there for something to scare me. Yes. Okay. What do we do now? What's the... What's the action? Run and hide. Right. Do you not see me then if I run and hide here? Or are you just like very oblivious to me hiding? No, you're very, very not oblivious to me hiding, in fact. <laughs> Someone singing. You wandered off to somewhere. Oh, food. Oh, is this a survival game in that way then? Low on health, grab a snack. Okay, so yes for uh, health then. Survival will mean some dangerous situations. When you're low on health, you will need to eat. Locate hidden food stashes all throughout the studio. 
All right then, find some food. We are uh, currently in uh, tutorial mode. You sort of wandered off in here then, I expect. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Open that up. Who was singing then? And how do I eat? Okay, I just ate that immediately. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. Oh, hello. It helps patch you up. But the aftertaste, it's not so good. Easy now, I'm not gonna hurt you. Looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. A uh, wolf? Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Oh, and one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the Ink Demon. What's an Ink Demon? Oh, well, you'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. I'm not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. All right, and not so much information from her, but a little bit of help, I suppose. And I couldn't no help notice that she did indeed have those small horns, like the... Uh, D, D, D. I say girlfriend of Bendy. I don't know if it's the girlfriend or not, but uh, yeah, that one. All right. And wasn't she called Alice Angel? Or was it something else? Anyway, so all right then. Uh, all right then. By the way, doesn't this look that this is going to open at some point? And I can jump. All right. We now have a jump button as well. Alright then, so that was a bit uh, on the weird side, and she uh, did give us some clues. Move move along shadows, that's a good uh, clue indeed. So presumably sight is going to be a thing, yes. Uh, we can't get up there now. Is this still very broken? Yes, that is very broken still. And I do wonder where that little guy, the piper, came from, because we definitely didn't see him uh, when we were trying to climb up here. Now we're fine, good. That looks like we can crawl through, doesn't it? Possibly. Uh, all right then, from my best pal. Around here, it's just best to stay out of sight. Don't even go running into some place if you don't know what's in there. If you attack a problem head on, you're going to find yourself in trouble. And that's just foolish. You gotta watch, listen, and when the time is right, push forward. Yeah, basically a standard sort of sneaky, sneaky uh, strategies there, yes. All right, search for more stuff. A new terror has descended into our lives, the man named Wilson. Ever since our world feels strained like a great beast held in chains, the ink demon hasn't been seen in a long time. Many of us refuse to believe he's really gone. But what does it matter? Down here, we're all sinners. Shield of the machine, all ha have the demon in our inky blood. So, yeah, Wilson said that he had sort of torn the demon in two. But Alice uh, told us that the demon is very much around. So uh, what do we make of that? I don't exactly know. Uh, but all right. Is this a... Th ah, that is a hiding spot. All right. Good, good, good. Good to know. But yeah, hiding from that... For that was obviously a tutorial thing. But that didn't really help us hiding from that piper. No, not at all. Uh, hello. Okay. Let's open this. Nothing I want in here either. That is a slightly more realistic, um, slightly more realistic uh, mirror. Yes.
So we are indeed looking rather weird. We are looking rather weird, yes. Okay, so we have multiple paths already. We can go down the stairs that I... Well, I say multiple paths. Okay, so this was just a dead end right here. I say that... Uh, yes, yes, it is a dead end. That is a gent machine. Okay, security lock. Three numbers we would love to find somewhere. That's a place... A lot of places to hide. That's some coins. Slugs, apparently. All right, then. So we need a three letter, three number combination. Now, where would we find a three number combination? Where's the toy man? Another audio. Yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys are kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Uh, last week, huh, they uh, they built some kind of, I don't know, electrical towers over near Animation Alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here anyways? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> this ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? Yeah, no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the dog code here so I don't forget it. <clears throat> Alright. The code is 451. 451. And if uh, Mr. Drew or Mr. Gray asks, you didn't hear it from me. Okay? All right, then some random person just gave us the number. So it is uh, four, five, and one. Push that. That was opens up with this. What do we get? Stuff. Lots of stuff, probably. Oh, hello. Okay. Toy. Uh, well, I don't know. I was, I was about to say toy shop, but no. Um. We have some stuff to eat, but, like, I'm at full health, aren't I? Uh, that's the logs. Those are the things. Uh, yeah, I'm at full health, so I don't need to eat. We do have some gent parts, however. Good, good, good. Still don't know what they are for. Oh, hello. 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 Thought I heard something there. By the way, that box is apparently a place we can hide in. I don't think that's a good place to hide, because it's really, really open. This is something happened. Okay. That's a place to get up again. Was well, it up again, but you know. Okay. We can search the thing. Just some lovely eyes. Cool. It seems that Archgate Studios, in all its misplaced admiration, was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey True, they didn't fully realize what they had acquired. Call it fate that I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning. When the delivery boys dropped one of the crates, it smashed open, and inside, there was something truly special. A mass of yellow steel, and beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was, so the fools put it on display for all to see. But I could tell that this crude device held secrets. Secrets that could be mine. All right, so possibly that uh, vision thing. Was it silly vision or something? Possibly that. Okay. Oh, that's not fair game. I will turn around. Okay, that's not fair. <laughs> Well, I like it, but, you know, that's... And now it says Wilson knows. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, I kind of like this. I do like this for now. Uh, so where are we getting ourselves now, then? Oh, hello. Okay, that was not a 
similar thing to what we found before. Okay, so that has a marker on it. Okay, well, I shouldn't go towards that thing, to be honest. Um, well, now it feels like I've missed something because of the stairs I didn't take before. But all right, we'll be moving on. Okay. Or have I just found like a Skyrim door thing? Is this gonna get us out to the other side of that thing? What did I just What did I just open? It does say a locker access now instead of okay, what if I well, I can't do anything with that. Alright, what I did I did something. That is true. Oh, I don't like that I don't get up automatically. Is that just going to open this door then? All right then. Well, I know that there's something here. I mean, if it's still here, that's another question. Let's just stick to the side. Okay, well, for now, nothing. Factory floor. Search all of these. Okay, we don't need to crush. Oh, hello. Keys. That's probably useful. Unlock maintenance gate is a thing I can do. I can eat, don't need it. So just leave, leave the food that I, that I can't leave. That's more eat. There's so much stuff to eat. Is it just that I'm eating it immediately? Eat... What is it? Eat bendy bar. Eat bacon soup. Time is one. I don't understand what that means. That it, does that mean that I ate it? Because I obviously... Don't have it here, do I? No, I don't think I have it here. It's like not... It's really not a... An inventory as I've sort of understood it. That's some more slugs and we have bonus health maybe. All right. You, you knew to do that apparently. How the hell did you know to do that? Oh hello upgrade health or stamina. Permanently upgrade your maximum health or maximum stamina. I mean I don't plan to take a lot of damage so I'm gonna say stamina. Yes that seems like a good thing. Okay, search this. We get some more gent parts. Would love to know what the gent parts actually do. All right, so those are upgrade points. Oh, hello. Okay, can I open this up? No, can't open that. Don't seem to mind me. And that means that we probably are going to start making our way back. Because I don't think that... I haven't missed anything, have I? To the factory floor, but this doesn't open. Alright then. So maybe we are going... Maybe I did go the right way immediately. That would be... That would be something, wouldn't it? If I went the exact right way immediately. Can I drop down here? Yes, I can. Okay. Probably things are going to be different now that I come back, isn't it? We're just going to assume we have a hidey place here. I so wish I had like a peek around the corner option. That would have been very lovely. Okay, well I can look at the mirror. No, the mirror doesn't help me, <laughs> sadly. All right then, just move ever so slow. Okay, we seem to be fine. Which means that I can go the other way. Oop, this is... Yeah, again, has anything changed? Are there now, like, creatures about? No. Well, that thing over there, that's just a plant, I think. All right, then. Well, if that's the case... Wait. So we can... I can immediately go two ways here. Oh, is this where I can open up the gate, maybe? 
No, that is that is locked by other means, so nothing I can do anything with for now. All right, another place to get up. An audio recorder. Oh, Angus Newman, I like you. Uh, all right, then. So that would be your radio here. Can't really make out what that does, but all right. So this was, in fact, nothing I could do anything with for now. All right, then. So if that's the case, move back up, because the clue then must be around here somewhere. Didn't go in here, but that's not a door I can open, no. So the maintenance door then, where would that be? Can I get anything open here? Is this... Uh, I mean, that doesn't even look like it's gonna open at all. At all. <laughs> so that seems like a bust. Um, but I suppose I haven't done... Haven't I done everything here? Interesting. I can get back there. Well, now I'm starting to be a little bit confused because where am I actually going? It's not like I have a map. And have I even made it past something I can open? Because I don't know if I did. So that's where he probably went, and I'm walking through the ink, just very, very unperturbed. Am I supposed to make my way back? Because that doesn't necessarily feel right. I mean, this is very lit up and sparkly. Oh, well, that's just that. That seems like that could be something. Because there's definitely light coming from beyond that. Hmm. Okay, well we have... Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to backtrack all that much, because I don't think there was anything over there. All right, then. Well, I think we have gone on for quite enough for this little video right here. And at this point in time, I'm going to have to figure out where the hell to go. <laughs> Because I am not 100% sure where it is that I'm supposed to go. I have a key for somewhere. I've seen uh, creatures up, out and about. I can't go over there. If you go in here, it's not a whole lot. Probably can't make it in there. Where's the toy man? Do I wonder that myself? I'm not entirely sure. Did I pick up everything from here? I think I did. That's a way to get in here where we can go up and around. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm a little bit unsure exactly where to go right now. So I think that we're just going to say that that's about it for this video. I like this. This is uh, weird and cool. And um, the art style, absolutely, definitely, really, really cool. Oh, hello. Oh, there's the output. Where was the guy? Um, no, those are just the uh, overall outputs. Then the Starface stuff toy, one, and then this continued. Um, but yeah, I do like this. Oh, yeah, maintenance. Ah, hello. Now I know where to go. Anyway, we're going to end the video anyway. So, uh, yeah, I do like this. The style is obviously really cool. And uh, the only thing I can sort of... Oh, no. 
leave it there. Thank you. Uh, the only thing I can sort of think about is uh, possibly it would be nice with a little bit more color, but I, I assume that they have an idea of how they want to do the uh, color palette, I suppose. Um, but this might be something I want to do like a full series on. I haven't played the first game though, so do I need to play the first game? Is the first game, is the information in the first game necessary for playing this? No idea. Um, but yeah, I like this. This is cool. This is a very weird horror game as well, because it's very much like creepy as well, which is always cool. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if this comes back. I probably won't play more just because of that. I'll, and if I decide at some point that I won't play it anymore, I probably won't, you know. So if this turns into a series, well, you will know because it will be a series and this will be part of that series. But uh, for now, this is going to be just the one-off. So if uh, anything like this fancies you and if you play the first game, I mean, you're and like that, you're probably going to like this too. Because I'm going to assume it's uh, fairly similar to the first game. Because that was also, you know, puzzle horror. And uh, yeah, there's really not that much left to say about uh, this uh, in terms of if, if, if anything is bad. I haven't found anything right now to be bad. Everything is really, really cool. So uh, yeah, I do want to I do want to see more of this in some way. For now though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>